In this video, I'm excited to teach you three easy steps in which you can make your vision board. And also in next week's video, I'm going to walk you step by step through how I make my own vision board for 2021. Hi, I'm Supreet. I'm an engineer turned leadership trainer. I upload weekly videos about personal growth, meditation, and occasionally parenting. First up, what is a vision board? A vision board, also known as a dream board, is a collage of pictures and words that represent your dreams and goals. The next question is, why should you bother making a vision board? A vision board is a very powerful visualization tool that can help you manifest your dreams. The idea is that you look at your vision board every single day and you look at those images as if all those things have already come true. By doing that, you're sending messages to your subconscious mind and affirmations do the same thing, but as we know, a picture is worth a thousand words. Hence, we're using pictures instead of words on a vision board. According to author and success coach Jack Canfield, your mind responds strongly to visual stimulation. Through the law of attraction, visualization also magnetizes and attracts you to the people, resources, and opportunities you need to achieve your goal. In the book, Willpower Doesn't Work, author Benjamin Hardy says that instead of relying on your willpower, instead, we should change our environment to support our goals. And putting a vision board in your house is an example of setting up your environment for success. We need something visual. We need a visible reminder to look at every day because in our day-to-day -day busyness, we often tend to get on survival mode or autopilot mode and we forget our long-term long vision. So a vision board acts as a visible reminder to remind us of the future and the ideal life that we're trying to build. Now let me share three steps in which you can build your vision board. Step number one, spend some time to get crystal clear on exactly what it is that you want your ideal life to look like and what you need to accomplish in the next 12 months to launch you closer to your goals. Step number two, Find pictures that represent or symbolize the experiences, feelings, and possessions that you want to attract into your life. Have fun with the process. You can use pictures from magazines or you can find them on the internet. You can even include a happy picture of yourself on your vision board. Whatever you put on your vision board, it should make you feel good. So pick whatever inspires you. You can also collect words, affirmations, and quotes that represent your vision. Jack Canfield likes to add to his vision board words that describe how he wants to feel on a daily basis. So he would add words like joyful, abundant, powerful, fearless, loved, strong, healthy, loving, financially free. I spent at least one week in doing steps one and two because it was important for me that if I am going to dedicate a whole year of my life to some goals, they better be my most high priority goals and I better have a good why behind them. Your why behind your goals is immensely important. If you don't know your why or your why is not big enough or it's not your why, you think it's your why, but it's actually someone else's why, then you're less likely to achieve your goals. So it is worth spending some time first on getting to know your why. Step number three, once you have collected all your pictures or words or quotations, then you can simply arrange them in whatever visually pleasing way you like either on a thick poster paper or a cork bulletin board if you're choosing to make a physical vision board, or if you're like me and you just wanna create a digital one, then you can just use a free um, online tool like Canva. That's exactly what I used to make my vision board and I'm going to share that with you next week, exactly how my process was. So to make sure you don't miss that video, subscribe and hit the notification bell. The reason I chose to make a digital one is that then I can print multiple copies of it. I could maybe put one in my bedroom, one in my office. I could also put it as wallpaper on my phone. Avoid creating a cluttered vision board. Too many images or too much information will be distracting and harder to focus on. There is beauty in simplicity and clarity. If you're finding that you just have too many goals, 
to fit on one vision board without clutter cluttering it up, then maybe you can make one for your personal goals and a different vision board for your professional and financial goals. But no matter how you choose to do it, try not to have too many goals in one year. I believe in having just one major goal for every quarter or so, every three months to six months, because if you have too many goals, you just um, lose your momentum and then you don't succeed in any one of them. So because the vision board is for the whole year, and I like to focus on one major goal every three to six months, I will not put more than four major goals on my vision board. Now let's talk about how to use your vision board. Step number one, to make sure that you get the full benefit out of your vision board, place it in a location where you can see it every single day. Step number two, take a few minutes every day to look at your vision board and to contemplate on it. My recommendation will be to look at it every night before you fall asleep and every morning soon after you wake up. The reason for that is that according to Jack Canfield, the thoughts and images that are present in your mind during the last 45 minutes before going to sleep are the ones that will replay themselves repeatedly in your subconscious mind throughout the night and the thoughts and images that you begin each day with will help you create a vibrational match for the future you desire. And step number three is that you make a new vision board for every year. And you don't have to make this in January or December, just make it whenever you want. Your new year starts on the day that you decide to make a change in your life. I recently created my very first vision board of my whole life using a free online tool called Canva. Next week, I'm going to share a video in which I will walk you step by step through exactly how I did, what pictures I included, what quotes I included. And to make sure that you don't miss that video, make sure you have subscribed to my channel and also hit the notification bell. Take care and keep growing. Peekaboo.